Hey there, I'm Natalie France and welcome back to my YouTube channel, a space completely dedicated to cultivating self-love through the practice of yoga. If you haven't already done so, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. Today's session is going to be working, being open across your chest and in relation to self-love, it's all about how you can be more open to your self-love journey as a whole. I'll explain a little bit more about that in just a moment. today's chest opening session. You're going to start here on the mat into an extended puppy stretch. So bring those knees directly underneath your hips. Walking your hands out in front, keeping the knees underneath the hips as you walk your hands out, letting your forehead down to the mat. Elbows stay lifted off the ground so you feel that deeper stretch and lengthening through your arms. Close off the eyes and bring your awareness to your breathing. Focusing on your natural rhythm and flow of breath, aiming to inhale and exhale in and out of the nose. And bringing your awareness back to the purpose of today's session, this idea of being open on your self-love journey. So whether this yoga session is focused on the physical movement or the physical act of being open across your chest, where we loosen up through the shoulders and work into your hip flexors as well to help you go into a couple of back bends. On your self-love journey, it's all about how you can be open to what's out there for you, different opportunities, new experiences, allowing yourself to see what can happen rather than being resistant to the process. So sometimes even though people say they want to change, they want to have a different way of living, there's still a little bit of resistance that just kind of holds you back and doesn't quite let you go forwards in the way that you think you work to go forward. Therefore, as you work through today's yoga session, think about not only how can you be more open in your front body, but how can you be more open in your life and your path to self-love. After your next exhale, start to walk your hands back in towards the body into a tabletop position. Let your hands come underneath your shoulders. Think this one widely spread. Press away from the ground to have that protraction in the shoulders. Bring a micro bend into your elbows so you're not hyperextended. As you inhale, lift your head up, arch your back into your cow pose. Exhale, drop the head down, round through your back into your cat pose. Slowly working through your cat cow movement to warm up your spine for today's practice. Aim to inhale and exhale in and out of the nose as you match that breath to your movement. When you get there, take one more inhale to lift up into a cow. A final exhale to round your spine into your cat and then come back to a neutral spine at halfway point in between both moves. Stepping your right foot in between your hands to your right knee tracks over your ankle. Lift yourself up, interlace your fingers, press your palms together, take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, puff your chest forward, draw your arms away, your hands away from the body. So feel that deep stretch in your shoulders, that open feeling across your chest as you hold it here. You take one more inhale. As you exhale, release your hands down to frame your right foot, bring your bend into your left knee for that quad stretch. If this is enough for you to spend in the left knee, that's absolutely fine. If you want a deeper quad stretch, take your right hand to grab hold of your left foot and draw your left heel to your feet. Be careful of any knee issues. This is not a good one if you have knee issues, so release out of it. Make sure the soft part of your knee, ideally, is on the actual mat as you hold here. Keep your chest open, shoulders back. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, release the left foot, right hand down. Bring your right knee back to meet your left knee. And then sit your left foot forwards in between your hands. So your left knee is tracking over your ankle. Lift yourself up once more. Interlace your fingers. Press the palms together. Puff your chest forwards. Draw your shoulder blades towards one another as you hold it here. Take those arms so you go away from the body. Feel that deep stretch and that open feeling across your chest once more. You take another deep inhale in. As you exhale, release your grip of the hands, frame your left foot and then bend into your right knee. So again, even just keep the simple 
bending out, holding the foot, or take the left hand behind to bring that right heel closer to your feet and feel that deeper stretch in your right quads. So when it comes to back bending, um, specifically, that the back bends come from you having loosened any tightness in your shoulders, but also focusing on stretching your hip flexors as well. So back bending isn't just about arching your back to get into the pose. You get into the pose by using your shoulders and your hip flexors to help you do so. So you need to stretch out those areas, first of all. Take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, bring your left knee back to meet your right knee once more. And then you tuck your toes and push yourself up and back into a downward facing dog. Make sure your feet are hip distance apart. Press your heels down towards the ground so that's stretching your hamstrings. You might need to walk your hands a bit further forwards from that tabletop position. Fingers are nice and widely spread. When you press into pads your fingertips rather than bearing any weight in your wrists. Let your head release down. Feel that lengthening through your head, for the back of the neck or through to the head as you hold it here. Stay still in your downward facing dog. From here, take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, come forwards into a high plank. Hold that high plank. So press away from the ground. Make sure your fingers are widely spread. Have that protraction across your shoulders. Micro bend to the elbows so you're not hyperextended. Lift your navel into your spine. If knee modification, have the knees down, but keep that lift up into your core with the body weight forwards. If you're going for your high plank, press your heels back, hold it here. Take another deep inhale in. As you exhale, release your knees, release your toes out behind you, slowly lower all the way down to the mat for your modified version of Chaturanga Dandasana. As you inhale, lift yourself up either into a cobra, so here, or an upward facing dog. Upward facing dog, modification of your knees down, otherwise your knees are lifted. Stay here in your down dog, okay? Bring your shoulders back, so roll the shoulders back and down, as you puff your chest forwards almost, and then lift your glutes up as well, so feel that open, Open feeling across your chest, that back bend in your upward facing dog or your cobra as you hold it here. Take one more inhale, exhale, push up and back into a downward facing dog. We'll go through those poses one more time. Take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, come forwards into that high plank. Hold the high plank first. So again, lengthen your gaze forwards, press away from the ground, micro bend in the elbows, lift your navel into your spine, press the heels back if you're staying here, otherwise bring your knees down. Take an inhale. Exhale, modified or full chaturanga dandasana. Inhale up to your cobra or your upward facing dog and hold it here. Again, roll your shoulders back and down. Find that space across your chest. Lift the glutes up to the ceiling. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, push up and back into your downward facing dog. Taking your right leg up to sitting into a three-legged dog. Keep your right hip drop down towards the ground rather than open out to the sides. Take another deep inhale in. As you exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. If the right foot comes to the center of the mat, you're gonna to have to take your right hand there to guide it forwards so that right knee traps over the ankle. Keep the left heel lifted unless you specifically wanna go for a low lunge with the left knee down if you need to. Coming all the way up into that lunge position. So right knee stays trapping over the ankle. Take the back of your left hand in between your shoulder blades. Right hand comes on top to meet it for that Gomgosana pose or cow face arms if you hold it here, okay? If your hands can't meet at the center of your back, simply just rest the hands onto the back, but keep drawing your elbows back so they're not coming forwards. So draw them back so you have that stretch in your upper body and also again, bring it back to this idea of being open across your chest, shoulders back, hold them here. You take one more inhale. As you exhale, plant your left foot fully onto the ground now, so the back of your left foot, or your left foot in general is parallel to the back of the mat. Release back of your right arm onto your right thigh. Keep that bend of the right knee trapped over the ankle. Left palm comes over, so left palm faces down towards the ground for your extended side angle as you hold it here. Make sure that, that right hand can lift up and down very easily, so you're not kind of sinking into your thigh. You're still engaging your core, so you can just use the hand to help you stay there without falling or resting into your right thigh. You can look down or you can look up. Make sure the left shoulder rolls back rather than forward, so you create that open, Feeling across your chest once more. You can either stay here or go to the bind. So if you want to go to the bind, your right elbow goes underneath your right knee, your left hand goes behind your back. You grab hold of your left wrist with your right hand. You keep yourself coming back rather than forwards, okay? So you keep rolling your left shoulder back. You go back towards your legs rather than forwards in front of your legs. You take one more inhale wherever you are. As you exhale, release yourself. So you bring your hands to frame your right foot and you step back into your high plank. Take a deep inhale here. 
Exhale, in modified or forward Chaturanga Dandasana to come through your Vinyasa. Inhale up to Cobra or an upward facing dog and hold it here. So again, take a moment to appreciate being open in this position with your shoulders back and down, chest open, lift up your glutes if you hold here. Take another deep inhale in. As you exhale, push up and back into your downward facing dog once more. On to your other side. Take your left leg up to sitting into that three-legged dog. Deep inhale in. Exhale, step your left foot in between the hands so your left knee now tracks over your ankle, lifting up to that high lunge position. This time, the back of your right hand goes in between your shoulder blades. The left palm aims to meet it in the middle. If not, again, simply rest your hands on your back. Make sure that the shoulders or the elbows are coming back rather than forwards. Press your elbows back so you feel that stretch in your upper body as you hold it here and breathe into it. You take one more inhale. As you exhale, plant your right foot down to the ground so your right foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Ideally, your left heel should be down the centre of your right foot. Back of your left arm comes onto your thigh and your left hand comes over into your extended side angle. Right palm faces down. Again, make sure you can lift that left arm up nice and easily. You take your gaze down or up and keep rolling that right shoulder back as you hold here. Option to stay in your extended side angle like this, or option to go into the bind. Left elbow goes underneath your left knee, right hand goes behind you. Grab hold of your right wrist with your left hand and then draw your shoulders back towards your legs. So again, no going forwards. You're trying to be open across your chest as you hold here. Breathe here. You can look down, you can look up. Find the option that feels the most comfortable for you. You take one more inhale. You exhale, release the grip of the hands, bring your hands down to frame your left foot. Step back into your high plank once more for your vinyasa. So take a deep inhale in. Exhale, four and one for Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale up to your cobra or your upward facing dog and hold it here once more. Again, take that time to find your open position across your chest. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, bring your knees back down to the ground for an extended puppy stretch. So make sure your knees are hip distance apart once more. Keep the knees under the hips as you walk your hands out, rest your forehead down. So remember, knees sit under the hips. It's not child's pose, it's your extended puppy. Hold it here, breathe into it. Bringing your awareness and focus back to the theme of today's session. Allow yourself to be open to the path that you're currently following on your journey of self-love. knowing that there are new adventures awaiting you, different experiences. And as long as you allow yourself to be fully open on your journey, you will enjoy what is still yet to come. And if at any point you feel resistance to yourself, Ask yourself what is causing you to feel a bit resistant to the journey that you're currently following. Is it fear of the unknown? Is it because it's different? Or are you stopping yourself from having a new lease of life for any reason? Your self-love journey is all about you connecting to yourself and allowing yourself to fully enjoy that process as you take it each day as it comes. After your next exhale, start to walk your hands back in towards your body, staying on your knees for variations of camel. Tuck your toes, your heels are higher, and make sure you press your hips forward. So be mindful, like I said at the start, back bending comes from your shoulders and your hip flexors. It's not about simply arching the back. You need to protect your lower back as you do a back bend. So you want to press your hips forward, so that stretch down the front of your thighs. And from here, place your hands onto your lower back, so your fingers facing down towards the ground. Bring your shoulders back, pop the chest forwards, taking yourself into a variation of camel. So take a deep inhale in. Exhale, keep pressing the hips forward. So you start to puff your chest up to the ceiling and let your head tilt back. This might be enough for you, that's absolutely fine. If you want to go one step further, start to walk your hands down behind your legs and behind your thighs, and bring your hands your fingers to the crease in between your knees or behind your knees here. 
your final option for your camel is to take your hands to your heels. You must keep pressing your hips forward. So keep pressing your hips forward. Feel that stretch in your hip flexor, the openness across your chest and your shoulders back as you hold here. So keep taking your hips forward. So go into that deeper version of your back bend. Inhale, exhale, press those hips forward and you hold it here. You take one more inhale. As you exhale, bring your chin to chest and slowly walk your hands back up your legs. If you come from the floor or any kind of variations of your camel pose. Bring your hands onto the mat into a tabletop position. Release your toes out behind you. Deep inhale in. Exhale, round your back into an angry cat and stay in this cat position. So it's your counter pose to the cow that you just did as you hold it here. So stay in your cat. Breathe into your back body as you hold here for a moment. Deep inhales and exhales. On your next inhale, come back to neutral spine as you exhale. Toes together, knees other side of the mat. Sit back into your heels. Now you're coming into a child's pose. Reach your hands out in front of you. Keep your elbows lifted. Get your forehead even down to the ground. Take a moment here to breathe in at your child's pose as you hold here once more. Deep inhale in. As you exhale, slide forward from your child's pose onto the mat into sphinx. So make sure your legs are nice and long behind you. Bring your forearms onto the mat so your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Press your toes and your pelvis into the mat. Take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, lift up the pelvis and toes, press into the mat. Shoulders back if you hold your sphinx pose. Please keep your eyes open. You can close your eyes if you hold here. Take your focus within once more. Find that open position across your chest, shoulders back. And breathe into it here. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, press yourself up and back into a child's pose once more. So toes together, knees on the side of the mat. Back into your heels, keep those arms down, come back across to the left, your forehead down to the ground as you hold here. Then start to pull the hands back in towards you as you find yourself into a seated position. Bring yourself into a cross legged position, closing off your eyes once you're there. Allow your hands to come to prayer to heart center, elbows out to the side, shoulders away from your ears. Gently drop your chin to chest. Thank yourself for showing up to today's session, for allowing yourself to be open in your physical body, but also be open in your mind too, to your journey of self-love ahead. I also thank you for coming to today's session. As you take one more final deep inhale in through the nose, Deep exhale out through the mouth to release. Allow your gaze to lower down behind closed eyes. And if you can open your eyes when you're ready. And slowly open them again. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed today's session and you are more open to your self-love journey in terms of what's ahead, what you can allow into your life and the possibilities of where you can go. Until next time, enjoy the rest of your day.